spent in a miserable way. U.S. News NY. Today is no school. We're bringing you a special evening edition of New York Today, our morning newsletter, as the brutal cold front arrived in the city. Want to get New York Today by email? Alternate side parking in effect till next Monday. The polar vortex has arrived. Bone freezing cold and Arctic gusts as high as 47 miles per hour blasting the city this evening, and tomorrow will be worse. The big freeze by dawn on Thursday, the temperature is expected to fall to 3 degrees, with wind chills around minus 15. That's cold enough, the mercury will creep up to only 16 degrees by afternoon. Overnight Thursday, by Friday afternoon, the worst should be over. Temperatures are ex- Brace yourselves, city officials are warning people to stay indoors as much as possible, and use mass transit instead of driving. But city public, earlier today, Mr. D. Blasio had warned of an acute, intense blast of cold air and snow, which may feel like white earth conditions. The squall, flights at Kennedy International Airport were delayed nearly two and a half hours, according to the Federal Aviation Administration. Flights at La Gua, how bad is it? Three degrees would, preparation the city has issued a code blue alert outreach teams will be checking on homeless people on the street more frequently and encouraging them to go to shelters. And note to apartment dwellers landlords are required to keep indoor temperatures at 68 degrees during the day and at least 62 degrees overnight. Be grateful as our Ibis far upstate are preparing for an Closer to the city, in a storm expected to bring an inch of snow per hour you in addition to below zero temperatures. And riders of possible delays because of broken rails and moisture that might short out motors in all the train cars. We will keep an eye on the cold in New York tonight and into tomorrow. Stay tuned. El Chapo's wife speaks, while declining to comment on whether she helped orchestrate her husband's 2015 jail escape. Amazon faces local lawmakers to hire public housing residents and teach students about technology. The battle to landmark the strand our architectural critic, Michael Kimmelman, said. The magically morphable Poba bar from cocktail bar to discus to music hall to underground sushi society. Want more news from New York and around the region? The mini crossword here is Trying to hit the brakes, LYST filed a lawsuit to block cities' pay equity law for drivers. Making sense of a very crowded election, this graphic shows what your ballot may look like in the February the 26th race for New York City public advocate. Sure bet MGM Resort paid $850 million to buy Empire City Casino and Yonkers Raceway. Former principal I was victim of geopolitical crusade Debbie Olmore Stacer, who just published a book, discussed her 2007 ouster from the Khalil Gibran International Academy in Brooklyn. Closing after 36 years in Business Street, Mark Comics will head to the Lincoln Center to hear the Puerto Rican indie rock singer Ani Cadero at 7.30 p.m. Seating is available. Want to learn to sign language? The Harlem Library, first shook at the orchestra chamber is 20 years of black power anthems at the Brooklyn Museum on Thursday at 7 p.m. Dollar 16, how much do you love they off? The throwback destiny, Chris Stein and Debbie Harry, members of the band Blondie, will sign's new photography book in Chelsea. 3. R.S. Derek Norman. Events are subject to change, so double check before heading out. For more events, Nearly 100 years after its 1922 debut, the film Osferatu is among the scariest vampire movies ever made. Simply, even Oma the Bust may have seen a terrified woman sitting on her bed convulses into submission after the shadow of a hand seizes into a fist over her heart. Like many silent classics, Osferatu is sometimes screened with live music accompaniment. That usually happens. The movie is showing for free at Brookfield Place in Lower Manhattan Thursday at 7.30 p.m. A live score will be on Friday, 
It's showing Joseph von Sternberg's 1927 classic crime drama Underworld. Music will be performed on the Sunday before New Year's Day. My son and I drove to Macy's in Herald Square. He needed to buy. I saw a spot at a corner along 7th Avenue. I was 100. I pulled onto the block and approached the corner spot. I noticed the police. I slowed down and moved toward the corner space, but decided it was no good and signaled that I was pulling back out into traffic. Just then, a police officer walked from the van toward a trash can on the corner. He waved for me to... I saw you slowed down, he said. You're yeah, fine. I am just over the crosswalk, I protested. You're yeah, fine, he repeated. And the pink signs say no parking Sunday. You're yeah, fine, he said again, his voice rising slightly. Those signs are wrong, you are a mayor. New York Today is published weekdays around 6 a.m. To get it by now, we're experimenting with the format of New York Today. What would you like to